right, today I'll be discussing a topic that affects each and every one of you, whether you're aware of it or not. It's something that each and every one of us owns, but we probably take for granted. It can be used as a method of relaxation after a long day at work or school, and that is your sofa. And I know that seems kind of random, but having the right type of sofa for your lifestyle can really influence your day-to-day -day life. So, um, sofas have become more than just a place to sit and converse. It's a place to take a quick nap if you're tired, or occasionally it has been used for a dining table the minute you've all eaten in your living room before. And um, you practically live on the thing, so it's important to make sure you invest in the right kind of sofa for your lifestyle. So today I'll be discussing the four main manufacturing companies and how each company differs in style, construction, and that'll help you realize what brand of sofa is right for you. So I'll start off by discussing probably the most well-known brand, Ashley's Furniture. And they're probably most well-known because their prices are so low for the most part. And the reason for that is because they build and manufacture everything in China. Um, so that you know, cost for low wages of payment over there, and that results in low cost furniture here. But that also costs for low quality. Um, the frames, cushions, and springs are all produced over in China. The only thing done here is the assembly for it. So while it is cheap in price, the frames will also be weak, and the springs will be kind of sporadic on the bottom, so you won't feel support when you sit on it. Um, the weight, it doesn't hold as much weight as the average sofa. The average sofa holds about 350 pounds. Ashley's can only hold about 270 to 300 pounds. So two people could easily, you know, break a frame on one of these. Um, the average foam density for Ashley's sofa is 1.0. For the average sofa, it's 1.8, so that's really low. So after a few years, the cushions will start to sink very rapidly, so you can notice that difference which is why the average lifespan of an Ashley sofa is one to two years. And that's how long the warranties are, too. And just a little disclaimer for you guys, a good hint when you're sofa shopping, I mean, I don't expect you to remember everything that's on here, but a good hint is the longer the warranties, the better the quality. So if you're ever out shopping for your first apartment or whatever, ask about how long the warranties are, and that'll give you a good indication of the good quality. Uh, all right, so the second the second brand is Robert Michael. This is personally my favorite brand. I have Robert Michael sofa and I love it because it's really for those kinds of people who like to just sit and sink into your sofa. If you like to throw yourself on your sofa and just kind of relax, this is a sofa for you. It's really comfortable. Um, so he hasn't been designing for very long, but in the short time he has been designing, his product has grown rapidly. They build and design everything here in Buena Park, so all the industries and everything made here are 100% U.S. made. Um, and that calls for a stronger cushion frame and springs. The frames are made of solid wood as opposed to a very weak compressed wood, so they can hold a lot more weight. It holds about 367 pounds, I believe. Um, and those springs that you see, those are called sinuous coil springs. And those are what's going to be typically on the bottom of a sofa. I would say they're about every two inches a spring repeats on the bottom of a Robert Michael frame. So that's gonna cause for extra support. The further apart the springs are, the less support you have. But as you can see, they're pretty frequent here. So that's gonna be very supportive. The foam density on a Robert Michael sofa is 1.85, so a little bit thicker than your average sofa. Um, and you also have a layer of down feathers that wraps around each cushion. So that's gonna allow for that extra sinking feeling that you feel when you sit on it, which is nice. Also, the frames are padded with extra foam, so the fabric doesn't tear when you sit on it. So that's kind of nice. And the warranties on this are seven years on the cushion frame and springs, which is the longest manufacturer warranty allowed by the state of California. We're not legally allowed to get anything more than seven years. So that's the longest you'll get, which is nice. All right. Jonathan Lewis. Jonathan Lewis also builds and designs everything here in California. This sofa is more of a designer type. It's more if you're like, that you want that fancy sofa with its extra, you know, flair. He uses a lot of the nail heads that go on. I don't know if you guys can see in that white sofa. There's like little studs on it. It's just extra fancy looking. But it's comfortable too. It's a good quality. Again, seven year warranties on the cushion frame and springs. 1.8 density foam, so a little bit thinner than Robert Michael, not by much. 
there's no down feathers, but if you're like the fashionista and you want, you know, the nice accent pillows and the nice colored fabrics and stuff, this would be the right sofa for you. Also, Jonathan Lewis, an advantage to getting that is he does a lot of special orders. So if you have a really weird shaped living room and you need a really funky looking couch to match it up, um, this is the right one for you because he can kind of configure it to fit your exact space, which is nice. Um, on Jonathan Lewis sofas, both sides of each cushion are upholstered, which is good because you want to take that cushion out and fluff it up every once in a while and flip it over. That way that'll expand the lifetime of your sofa. Um, and it can withstand 350 pounds on each seat. And yeah, that's it for John Lewis. So the final one is one that probably not many people have heard of, but it's actually one of the best quality sofas out there, Splesto Industries. They self-name themselves America's Seating Specialists because they're very proud of what they do. But they've been in business for over 120 years, so that's saying something. And the main reason that Flex Steel is so popular or the quality is so good is if you look at the it, bottom left, you see those blue steel rods at the bottom. That's what's going to be at the bottom of a flex steel sofa as opposed to those thin sinuous coils from the beginning. Uh, and that's going to allow for a lot more support and you can hold up to four times the weight on that of an average sofa. Um, also the foam density on this is almost double as thick. It's a 2.5 density foam as opposed to your average 1.8. And the fabrics that flex steel industry uses are padded on double sides so that's going to hold the support of the cushion longer. And of course, the cushions do come out, so you can flip them over and flip them up and make sure they're all in the right place. Um, seven year warranty on the cushion frame and springs again, five years on the fabric, which is the longest allowed on fabrics. And the average lifespan of a flex steel sofa is around 20 to 30 years, which is longer than you'll ever need a sofa for. So, in conclusion, now that you know about the construction of each sofa, you can kind of think about what you need and what will fit your lifestyle and kind of go out there and see, you know, what you think will fit best for your needs. So you wouldn't want to come home after a long day and just sit on a broken down sofa. You want something that's going to hold up good. You know, that's, you practically live on your sofa, guys, admit it. <laughs> All right. And that's why investing in a good sofa is worth your money. Thank you. All right, Nico, what did you think? Uh, I think I know a lot more about sofas. Than <laughs> I, like it. Um, I thought the language was pretty well, like, the language was pretty good. Um, uh, I, I like the visuals that there wasn't too many that kind of organized the topic. Um, you gave us a lot of information, um, but I didn't notice any citations, something that went wrong with my speech. Um, and I, there was just like within the transitions, there was just like next we'll talk about this, next we'll talk about that. Um, I think you could have made it a little bit more eloquent. Right. I really like reviewing the reviewers more than anything else. I thought, I thought he did a very nice job there pointing out several things that are good about your speech and a couple of things that I thought were problematic too. Um, the transitions are a little bit awkward. Uh, they're clear. I mean, we know because you've got the visual going along with it, uh, but they don't always sound very smooth. It just sort of, yeah. Uh, and anyway, next, you know, it, it just seems like there should be something that's a little bit smoother, that feels a little bit more polished. Uh, and the citations, I think, are a little bit problematic. I kind of like the suspense that you had at the beginning, you know, just re revealing the topic. It's not that dramatic, but it's kind of a funny way of uh, going about it. Uh, Presentation-wise, uh, we're not emphasizing those things right now, but uh, I think when you watch back, assuming that uh, you get in frame here, because I did have to move it a little bit, 
Uh, it does seem strange that you're talking from one side of the room, and what also seems strange is that you, you know, speak sideways for most of the speech. You are facing the screen a lot of the time, and I know that you want to look at the furniture, but the truth is, most of the time, you just need to look to make sure you've got the right slide up. The rest of the time, you could be talking to us, because you don't really refer to anything on those things, except occasionally. You, For instance, on the flex steel, you point out... Uh,